Hello everyone. Today we are going to learn about the arguments in robot framework. So to give you a demo of the arguments and how you can utilize argument in the robot framework, let me create a quick robot file and I'll say arguments demo dot robot and I'll create a dummy code to explain about the arguments and then we'll understand how you can utilize arguments and what is the advantage of argument in your test cases when you are doing automation using robot framework so to start with I'll start with setting section and then we'll start with the test case so I'll let me start with the test case and let me also add the keywords All right. so we'll add the keyword section now with the arguments what you can do is basically you can provide or you can set up your keywords or you you can define your keywords and you can define how many arguments are required for that particular keyword say for example you are um, trying to test a website which requires username and password or different username and password and you want to verify the uh, login functionality for that particular website so you can define the login functionality or the login keyword and define two arguments one for the username and one for the password and then you can pass different values in that username and password so you can test for the valid input username and password or invalid username and password so that is the whole purpose of defining the keywords with arguments so how to define the keywords with arguments, so I'll just put a dummy uh, keyword here. So I'll say argument uh, demo keyword, right? So this is just a dummy keyword that I'm defining. And then you'll start with the arguments and just ent hit enter. As soon as you'll start typing arguments, it will give you the pie charm will give you um, the suggestion to import the arguments. Just hit enter and it will provide you with two spaces there. And then you can define the number of arguments that will be required by this particular keyword if you are using this keyword in your test cases. So for example, this keyword requires two arguments, two scalar arguments. I'll define two scalar arguments. I'll put one as arg1 and then another one with arg2, right? So these are two scalar variables that will be required for this particular keyword. If you have more arguments that are required, you can simply keep on adding those arguments. All right, so I can also put arg3 there. For this demo, I'll just keep it to two arguments here, and then I'll just log the arguments that I'm passing, All right? So I'll just say $arg1, and this will be printed in the log, and then another one will be $arg2. Two. So whatever arguments I'll be passing in the test case, those will be printed if I'm using this particular keyword. Now, in the test case section, what I'll do is I'll use this keyword, right? Whatever I have defined here, okay? And then we'll pass the argument, okay? So in the test case, what I'll do is I'll simply say argument demo keyword test and Below that, I'll just use this particular keyword and I can pass in two arguments there because here you can see there are two arguments that are being required for if you're using this particular keyword. So in this particular test case, I'm using this keyword. So I'll pass two arguments there. All right. So let me pass our CV Academy. All right. So now when I'll run this particular test case, there is one test case which is using the keyword that we have defined in this robot file and that is using two arguments, right? So that I have passed two arguments there. And if I run this particular test case now, then it will print the arguments that I have passed in this particular test case. So let's go to the terminal and run this particular test case. So I'll just run arguments demo dot robot and it will run pretty quick 
So you can see one test case has passed because there is just one test case and it should print RCV Academy in the report. So let's open the report and see the details in the report. So here I'll just open the report and show you the details here. So you can see argument demo keyword has been used. There are two arguments. These are the built-in keyword. Log keyword is the built-in keyword and argument one has taken RCV and argument two has been uh, assigned academy, right? Now the advantage of this argument um, using argument in keyword is say for example I have another test case for which I want to pass different values or I want to have a, a test case which verifies the functionality of the application using different inputs right say for example here I want a test and again testing right so in this particular test case, if I run this file again, there will be two test cases. The first test case will use the arguments that we have passed as RCV Academy. And the second test case will use the arguments that have been passed as test and testing to run the second test case. And when you are doing your login test case, which is pretty common scenario that you will be doing and verifying the login functionality using the valid invalid um, username and password and in those sort of scenarios wherein you have the data driven testing approach this is very much important so this is not the ideal way to write your test cases for the data driven testing approach i'll come up with another tutorial to explain you how to do data driven testing in robot framework but this is just to explain you how do you are going to use arguments in your test cases right so let's open the report and see the execution this time so here you can see two test cases total two have been passed and in the second test the arguments that have been passed are test and testing and test has been printed and testing has been printed in the second one in the first one our cv academy has been passed and you can see our cv has been printed and our academy has been printed as well right so now let's look into the actual scenario which we have created so let's open the test case that i have created for ebay which is verify search functionality now say so for example i want to use uh, this particular test case or i want to have another test case which uses another search term and clicks on search result and verifies the search result for different search terms so how we can utilize arguments in this particular test case so we'll open the header page dot robot here as you can see i am inputting the search text directly into the keyword section right so this is not the ideal approach because the values are being hard coded so how we can utilize the arguments to remove this so in the keyword section i'll simply add the argument section and then here I'll use a scalar variable and I'll say it as search. So whatever name you are comfortable with, search um, text. And then we can use this search text scalar variable here in term in place of this actual value that we have used in this particular test, right? So now this keyword input search text and click search will require one argument to be passed similarly in the search results page so if you go to the test case we are using two keywords input search text and click search search and then we are verifying the search results which is on the search results page so on the search results page we need to verify the text that we are actually searching at ebay.com so page should contain so we are again hard coding the value here the text term here so what we'll do is we'll use the argument again here we'll just say argument and we'll simply replace that with search text right and use that same scalar variable and verify the search text here so 
now the search results uh, keyword will also require one argument to be passed whenever you are using this particular keyword in your test case All right so coming back to the test case now if i directly run this test case you will get an error that it requires a argument to be passed because in the header page for this particular keyword i have defined an argument and that one argument is being utilized by this particular keyword so let's run this test and see the failure All right so i'll just run this particular test and we'll see that it will require the argument to be passed so let's analyze the report and see the failure here so opening the report here if you go to the test you can see header page expected one argument and got zero and the reason for that is because in the keyword section of the header page keyword i have defined an argument one argument that is required for this particular keyword now when you are using this keyword in your test case it is mandatory to pass the argument or to pass one argument here so if i provide the search text here now as robot then this particular keyword will pass and then similarly the other search results verify search results keyword requires another argument right so what this test case is doing it is basically um, inputting the search text robot which is an argument that we are passing the value that we are passing here for this particular keyword and then clicking on the search button and then it will verify that the results contain this particular test right now if you have another test case for which you want to verify for a different text you simply need to change it in your test and nowhere else you are required to change anything and you can pass different values here it doesn't matter how many test case you have here right i can simply change this to one and this test case to two and change the values or the search term that we are searching on ebay.com so for the third one let's put travel okay and if i run this test case now so there will be three test cases that will be run with different search terms and verification will be done for different search terms so it's opening ebay.com now it will run the first test which will take the term that we have provided as robot it will verify that the results for robot contains then it's running the second test case for which it will take another search term and this time it will take books and verify that the results contain books and now the third test case will search for the search term travel and verify the results for the travel right so yes it's so you can see all three test cases have been passed and if you analyze the results so it's verifying the basic functionality then the one and two and you can see all of the test case has passed if i open the report now and analyze the report now you can see that all these three test cases are utilizing the keyword and the search term or the search text that we are passing is different in all these test cases first one is typing robot right and then it's verifying the search text for robot results for robot the second one is passing the search text books you can see here and then verifying the search results for books and the third one is verifying the search text for travel and verifying the results for travel right so that is the advantage and beauty of using arguments in robot framework and this is not the approach that you should be using for the data driven testing in robot framework this is just to explain you how you will be utilizing arguments in your test cases 
and what are the uh, scenarios that you might be covering um, using the arguments in your test cases. So once you update your scripts with argument, there is a better approach to do data driven testing, which I'll explain in upcoming tutorials. So that's pretty much all about the arguments, advantages of argument and how you will use arguments in robot framework. So hope you like the tutorial. Thank you very much for watching.